Hello, and welcome. Today, I want to take a Character Creator 4 character and its animation and import into Unreal Engine 5. Today we begin inside Character Creator 4. I have my character ready to go and animation. There we go. And what we need first is the plugin for Unreal Engine 5. If you've already followed my ActCore tutorial, you know how to do this, but in case you haven't, come up to here to plugins. Character Creator and Icon Auto Setup and get the tool for Unreal. It should open a browser and take you to Reillusion. Scroll down to download and hit this no more here and it will expand this and make sure you are looking at the plugin that is compatible with Unreal Engine 5. In my case, I'm using version 1.2.3. Hit download and wait for it to download. Install the downloaded file. Upon completion, this file explorer will open. Do not close it. What we need is auto setup, whichever version you have, for Unreal Engine 5. Open it up and inside you will see these folders content and plugins. Select them both and copy. Now what we need to do is go to your Unreal Engine 5 project folder. Here is mine. In the main folder projects act core tut you will see a content folder, config, intermediate, saved, script, and the U project file. Here, right click and paste. And it will create a new folder called plugins and add to the content folder. You can now close this file explorer and we'll close Internet Explorer as well. With the project now open, I'm going to quickly hit save all and what you will notice up here at the top on the navigation top bar is this new execute CC setup action and if you click on it it will give you this dialog we'll hit cancel for now but it's, I'm just showing you that it has installed the plugin if we go to our content drawer there'll also be this folder CC shaders this contains all the shaders you need for iClone and character creator so that is what we've just installed. Back inside Character Creator 4, we're now going to export our character and animation. So I'm going to come up here to FBX and I want to choose Cloth Character. And I'm going to select here Unreal. I want Mesh and Motion. I don't want to touch any of these texture settings and I will just select current animation and all for the moment. Ensure that first frame in bind pose is unselected. And check export mesh and motion individually. I want to do this so the animation and the character are separate. Also to save resources I have selected delete hidden faces and for now that is all I want to do I'm not going to be using Instalod today although I will be doing a feature on that in the future so for now we're going to hit export and we'll get this warning click OK and choose a folder where you want to save to and I'm going to Create a folder and we'll simply call this CC4. Give it a name, in this case CC4 Tut. And hit save. And the export process will now begin.
With our character now exported and our animation, we can move over to Unreal Engine 5. Back in Unreal Engine 5, before we go any further in creating a scene, I want to come to content. I have a characters folder and here I'm going to create a new folder CC4 oops and then I'm going to open that folder and in here I want to create a new folder and for the purpose of the tutorial we'll just call it Camilla there we go then we open that folder and now we're going to right click and import to game characters CC4 Camilla and find the file that I've just exported from Character Creator 4, which is this FBX here. If you look, this one has motion in the name. That is our animation. We'll come to that in a moment. But for now, open CC4 to FBX and open. And we will get this uh, Character Creator plugin dialog. By default, it's on standard shader. We need the high quality shader today. Hit OK. When this dialog box opens, leave skeleton to none. And click advanced here and just make sure that use T0 as reference pose is selected. And here import morph targets. And uncheck animations for now hit import okay so we're going to save now there was a warning about the clothing simulation that is something i'm going to have to look into but here is our character. And the import has done a reasonable job. Let's look at the back. Okay. Right, let's close this for a moment. We should have as well all the morph targets here if you selected uh, import morphs when you imported the character. So I do want to do a little bit of cleanup in this folder. So if we come to this folder here, these should all be textures. So if we select those all and actually drag them into the textures folder, move here. And once completed, we can then get rid of that folder. Also, I want to create a new folder called this rig. This is where your IK rig and skeleton will be stored. We're not creating an IK rig today, but I will do a future tour tutorial on IK rigs for Character Creator 4. So I will drag my skeleton into rig. Open up the rig folder and I, I just want to rename this skeleton to CC4 skeleton. And so next time we import a character creator for character, we can use this skeleton. Finally, I want to create a folder called mesh. And then drag our skeletal mesh and physics asset into the folder. Okay, so we now have our character inside Unreal Engine 5. Let's just create a quick scene and see what the character looks like. Okay, what I have here is a basic scene and it's the metahuman lighting preset. It's just slightly modified and this is freely available in the Epic Marketplace. Right, so what I want to do is go back to my characters CC4 Camilla folder and here I want to create a new folder blueprints and inside I'm going to create a new blueprint 
class. Choose actor. Name this Emila BP. Open that up. And then from the content drawer, I want to go to my mesh folder that I created and drag our character mesh into the blueprint. Hit compile and save. Now we have a actor blueprint. For beginners, we do this so we can at any time switch this character mesh here for other character creator for characters. Right, let's close that and I'm going to drag my blueprint into the scene. Like so. And I want to zero that out. There we go. And I already have a camera set up. Next, I need a sequence. I already have a sequence created for this tutorial. I'm going to drag in our actor blueprint. Now, obviously, we're going to need some animation. So we're going to do that now. Let's go to content again and back into our character folder and create a new folder and name this animations like so create a new folder and name this animations and go inside that folder click import and this time we're going to choose our, the file name with motion in it the FBX it open at this point it will ask for a skeleton this time we're going to choose our cc4 skeleton that we renamed and we're going to uncheck import mesh and let me just double check we have everything else check use default sample rate here and i think that's it for now and hit import and that is it. If we open that up, here is our character and our animation. Obviously, inside Character Creator or iClone, you would extend the facial animation, but for the purposes of this tutorial, it's absolutely fine. There we go. So we have facial and body animation imported. So we go back to our sequencer, hit track, and in Unreal Engine 5, you can, without selecting your mesh, hit track, animation, and then that will apply the animation to everything within the blueprint. So let's hit play. Fantastic. And here is my camera zoomed in. Hit play. And that's it. You've now imported a character creator for character into Unreal Engine 5. That brings us to the end of this tutorial today. If you found it useful, please like and subscribe. It really does help. If you would like to support me and the channel, you can go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash Joe Butsu and buy me a coffee. Alternatively, you can hit the thanks button underneath this video and help me that way. So see you in the next one.